Rachel, there's a really interesting thing there about amateur and professionalism and about the whole ethos of rugby and everything. And obviously, you've been there for the switch from ladies amateur to into, into professionalism. Did that change things? And do you see there being a, a, a ladies British Lions and Irish tour at some point? Yeah, well, I think your first question, fundamentally, <laughs> Bruce is up for it. Um, fundamentally, amateur versus professional, there's a huge difference. Um, I remember when we first went professional in 2014, and the first questions we started to say to each other was, how on earth did we do this before? Because the time and the effort and the, the life outside rugby doesn't exist, really, because everything is consumed. So, of course, there's a huge difference between um, amateur professional and and also there's different ways of being professional within the women's game you know you have some players who are maybe uh, you know match fees or there's semi-professionalism that the women's game is at very different stages of that professional side of things um, and we've had the recent global women's calendar that's been released now which is obviously going to add more pressure for more time to be away more um, assembly days for squads so does that then push um, unions to look at investing more into the, the um, their sides because of the amount of commitment that is going to be coming up? And then on top of that, you throw in the conversations that are happening and have been happening. It's not new. There's been in the last couple of years that they've been talking about the British and Irish Lions for the women's game. But what they're doing rightly is not going, right, we'll carbon copy and we'll run how the men's run because it's not the same. Like the competition isn't the same. The makeup of it isn't the same. So you don't want to do something for the sake of it. And if we were just to follow the men's, that's just ticking a box to me and going, all right, look, we it morally, we should be doing this as opposed to actually going, right, let's work out what is going to be the best thing for the British and Irish Lions women's team, how we then go about that. Let's really put some thought behind it. Let's not rush it because you want it to have the legacy that the men's have. You want it to go on and you want it to create its own history. And if we just kind of rush over it and go really quickly and think, oh, well, we must have a women's one, so we'll just jump on it, then it's going to fail. Uh, and that's the last thing that we want for it. So I'm hugely excited the fact that conversations are happening, research, detailed research is going into it. Um, and yeah, we'll see where we are in the next sort of couple of years and what that looks like and, and how they look to build it out. 